What's up, collective? My name is Anishka. Welcome to my channel. Um, today is special. It's May 8th, and the moon is in Taurus conjunct um, Uranus in Taurus. So what this means is you could be feeling a subconscious impulsiveness. Um, sudden events may result in relationship upsets, family disputes, but at the same time, it's because your direction is, you're being redirected and other changes may include, your sleeping patterns may be off, they may be fluctuating between extended periods of waking up in the middle of the night, then periods of feeling super tired. Um, acting on instincts during this time is best because psychic talents are being really stimulated around this time. Um, even remembering back to your childhood, if you were feeling this psychic energy or had these special gifts and maybe it was kind of shut down at very young age, this is all emerging right now. So I feel like the reason why sleep patterns could be feeling off is because your consciousness is being stretched at this time. Um, because like once you get that download and you let it sit too long, it like goes away because you're overthinking what you're getting. So this is a time to really trust your intuition and trust that things will work out. Flashes of intuitive hits and nudges should be taken really serious. Take a chance and back yourself up, basically. You must express yourself as much as possible during this time and not to hold back and not to allow fear or society or belief systems to hold you back. If you are feeling redirected on your career path, redirected in relationships, Now's the time to just really act on that impulse and act on that instinct and make the necessary changes. You also could be seeing a bump in your finances um, with the moon being in Taurus. And I believe um, conjunct Venus in Taurus. So this is a time where you're like really loving on yourself. You're feeling very social. You're feeling very even physically it kind of can sh sound shallow, but I'm going to say what I'm feeling physically beautiful in, a, in, in your own way or finding the physical beauty externally. So it's just like a reflection that comes back to you. It's, it's really just an overall energy. Um, you could be feeling a little detached from loved ones, detached from social, certain social groups that you no longer are feeling connected to. Um, this is, a stand, this is a standard for any astrological aspect or transit associated with psychic ability. You just feel fucking different. You feel not a part of this world. <laughs> if you're an empath, it's like, this is a time to amplify your protection rituals because you are feeling very open and psychic right now. Your ability to connect with others and on an emotional level can make you feel very alluring and attractive. People are finding your energy very attractive right now. You could be feeling like you want to work with your hands and you're feeling more creative to start projects that you have never done. If you are an artist, you could be feeling very pulled to explore other mediums where you're working with your hands. So this is a time to also dive into projects and things that you feel connected to. Protect your energy as much as you can. You're also coming off very alluring and attractive and mystical to other people. This also could be the energy that you're feeling also. So people are channeling that energy that you're exuding. So before I started the video, I wanted to pull some animal spirit um, cards and they align exactly with the transit, the planet transits for today. Otter is someone who is feeling unobstructed joy, playfulness, contentment, full of love and just needs nothing. Your energy is very attractive right now. The hummingbird was next. Positive, enthusiastic, spiritually resourceful, curious, loves to learn. You could be wanting to read more books, diving into, in, dive, you could be wanting to read more books, diving into creative projects, like I said, that you're wanting to use with your hands and also spending a lot of time with other creative friends. The hummingbird, is very creative at, in nature and loves to explore spirituality. The hummingbird's secret is that it has learned where to gather nectar and it returns to these sources daily for nourishment and rejuvenation. The crow, psychic energy, psychic power, psychic downloads. 
you're feeling this pull towards your intuitive nudges around this time spiritually strong and the crow is very creative and watchful they see everything psychic strong clear intuitive downloads to make decisions that are aligning with like the direction that you want to go the crow has also been a long symbol of magic a crow personality is drawn to the supernatural supernatural and has a gift for seeing the unseen knowing the unknown and it is said that the crow holds within its mind's eye the three realities past present and future crow energy is potent and should be tapped into when the mind is clear so meditation if you're not feeling the most in your psychic energy today take five minutes to meditate and eating right enjoying friends and just studying getting back into diving into your books and amping up your esoteric studies starfish beautiful alluring uplifting artistic and expressive the starfish is a supernatural an exquisite beauty mesmerizing to all being around someone with starfish energy is a thrill like you've been put under a spell of divinity itself so this is the energy for today and i think the next two days actually you're going to be feeling this lift in your energy and this attraction that you're feeling from other people I think during the lunar eclipse or solar eclipse um the last eclipse that we had that was like an initiation. That was a heavy fucking time, excuse my language, and retrograde. That was all initiation period. So now that that is being lifted and the sun is starting to come out, that's the energy that I'm feeling right now. So, so I'm going to tap into the energy and see what the cards say. I'm going to use my archetype deck just to pull one card because it can get very lengthy and I'm not trying to do that today. <laughs> Spirit, angels, ancestors, what messages do you have today for the collective? May 8th, what is going on today? I always try to shuffle really good. The warrior. Bottom of the deck, Gnosis. This is the knowing. This is like not second guessing yourself, trusting your intuition, and you just have this oneness, this universal knowing that shit is going to work out for you and the warrior. I'm automatically automatically getting spiritual warrior, spiritual warrior energy, and the fact that this creative glow, this creative energy is in between the horns, this is giving me strength. The snake is also a representation of transformation, rebirth snake eating his own tail i always go back to that so you are the person that's responsible for devouring your own self and giving birth to your new self i'm really really digging that creative aura in between the horns and the third eye with a diamond in the third eye this is complete taurus energy what is this actually i'm so curious to what animal that is anyone knows drop a comment I'm about to look the number 10 could be significant which also breaks down to one and the number 20 30 45 can be significant 45 breaks down to nine nine ten wow wow so this is like the knowing and stepping into your creative spiritual warrior energy I love it The warrior, samurai, the soldier, the advocate, fierce, clarity, purposeful action, resolve, and resilience. Without a true purpose, manifesto, or oath, the warrior is lost. What do you stand for? What are you willing to rise in the name of? Write it out. Um, so many downloads right now. A journal, a download journal, um, sketching writing down your ideas putting them in your phone because the psychic energy is really heightened around this time and a lot of us are experiencing in the collective um our gifts being more activated around this time so 
I feel like having a journal or having something right next to you where you could just write these ideas, write these creative ideas, because you're going through, you could be going through a transformation. You are going through a transformation, I'm sorry. The warrior's work requires presence, alignment, and purpose. If and when the warrior loses its center, meaningless confrontation, so avoiding drama, avoiding conflict, avoiding certain family members who are whose energy just makes you feel triggered even if there is no conversation all of that affects your energy and it's going to affect your downloads people are breaking out of that they've been breaking it out of that for a long time now and i think that's what warrior means and that's what the snake means and it's tapping into that creative energy that we naturally have and our psychic powers let's tap into this reading um and get a couple more messages spirit angels ancestors spirit guys what messages are coming in today for the collective at this time spirit bottom of the deck we have peace protect your peace i love that this person person is in an egg with a star over the third eye it's being protected what you're working on is you're protecting and guarding that right now we have between worlds fork in the road blessed she's sitting inside of a shell if you are feeling, if you are by the ocean or you're by the water, this is also, I'm getting a message that you need to go to the ocean or go to the water and collect some shells. Collect some shells and put them in your home. Even put them to your ear. 22 could be significant also. 22 breaks down to four. So putting the shells in your home, that could be for some of you. That's just like what I got. Fork in the road. Um... This is a redirection. I feel like this is multiple options. 13 breaks down to four again. So this is like a change in your foundation, this direction that you're going. It, The llama is tied to the pole and there's an owl on top of the llama. So I feel like this is psychic inner. This is like all about your intu intuitive nudges on which direction to go and not to be tied down. If you're feeling tied down to stuff right now, try to try to have a more playful approach to the decision that you make. Playful approach. Choose the decision that gives you the most joy. Choose the decision choose the direction that gives you the most joy that makes you feel very secure and the most joy, even if it's uncomfortable. Between worlds, this is wild. This is like halfway into the old and stepping into the new. There's a transformation. The flamingo has a crown on the head and a hummingbird. There's a hummingbird on the, the flamingo. I was gonna say crow. Three four and four this is like a transition today or this week there's going to be a transition this week if you're feeling stuck i'm intuitively feeling that there's going to be a transition there's going to be a message coming in there's going to be something lifting a block lifting where you're going to get the answers you need and something about being in the ocean and listening to a shell and bringing a shell home please leave a message in the comment if this resonates with you and hit that like button. I'm also, side note, before I go into this deeper, um, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway and I'm gonna have my email linked into the description of to get on my mailing list to receive something from me. Um, I haven't decided which one yet because I'm either thinking of giving a personal intuitive coaching read or um, I also make jewelry and I make divination jewelry and I make jewelry that is spiritual jewelry. So I'm thinking about doing a giveaway. The link is going to be in the description.
spirit angels, ancestors, spirit guides, and messages are coming through. You're still here, thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to say that. Saboteur highlights your fear of self-empowerment and the changes it would bring to your life. Wow. Mother, nurturance, patience, unconditional love, joy of giving birth to life. Find the joy in giving birth to new ideas and getting out of the old. And that's why I said choose the direction that gives you the most that feels the most playful. It's like a fork in the road. That's what that is, is a fork in the road and choose a direction that gives you more, that feels more playful. This is, the mother card is like you mothering yourself um, or people seeing you that way, your energy, nurturance, patience, unconditional love. You're finding, naturally, I believe that you do find joy in giving birth to new ideas and nurturing others this is like your superpower is people coming to you for that nurturing mothering energy highlights your fear of self-empowerment that is under between both worlds between both worlds feeling afraid to move into a different direction but she's also in a hot air balloon and there's a pen. She has a pen sticking into the balloon like she's about to pop it. So it's like you're wanting this change. You're up in the air. You're on for the ride. And then you're like, wait a minute, I'm going to sabotage this and then pop it. There's a fear in being up. There's a fear in being elevated. There's a fear of reaching a heightened level. And maybe that maybe you're not seeing it that way. So if you are feeling, oh my God, if you are feeling this fear of change, of wanting something more, I have chills. You could be self-sabotaging your ability to feel empowered. There could be a fear of feeling empowered. That is being in between both worlds not sabotaging your opportunities that you have right now again with the gnosis this you have this knowing and your intuition is on point right now this is really a time to really trust your new direction avenger desire to balance the scales of justice righteousness on behalf of society but it came in reverse the shadow attribute, restoring to violence in the name of cause. Like, not literal violence, but I feel like this is not choosing the direction that you are being told to go in your mind. It was over the blessed. I need to pull one more for that. Magical, seeing the potential of sacred beauty in all things, the belief that everything is possible. Pessimism, depression, and disbelief in miracles. I feel like this is also with the saboteur. Having that child, like, um, tapping back into your inner child. The, the, the child is does not have pessimism. You know, they're going to go off of their imagination without thinking. Bottom of the deck we have awakens compassion, child wounded. <clears throat> also healing these inner wounds. This is sabotaging opportunities and being afraid of being in power and trusting our knowing, trusting our our intuition. All goes back to inner child healing, which is why I feel like the, the mother card is here. Awakens compassion and desire to serve other wounded children. I'm interpreting this is serving other people opens the learning path of forgiveness. So if you're needing to forgive somebody right now, this is a good time to do that. I feel like I don't even need to use tarot, but I'm just going to like do a little quick pull, a little quick three card. Cool. This is a good, this is a good energy check-in for today.
other messages do you have, Spirit? This moon in Taurus. For the collective, for the highest good. What messages are coming in for the collective, for the highest good? What advice do you have? The hangman. Shift in perspective. Pulling your energy back. It's also trusting. This is a Pisces card also. Very intuitive. Sign. I'm a Pisces. <laughs> um, sometimes when this card comes out, I'm like, I don't know. I have like this love-hate relationship with the hangman card. Um, the tower. This is a change. This is actually good energy. You're pulling your energy back for this change, this shift that's coming in. And the fact that there's three daggers in the heart, this is like, I think someone recovering from disappointment, recovering from things not working out the way they thought they would work out. And you're just having to like pull your energy back to redirect your path. Bottom of the deck is karmic, oh, karmic justice, justice. Light just went down when I said that. Nine of Pentacles. Um, independence. Self sufficiency. This is also the money getting better. The money is coming up. That came in very clear. The money is coming back up. If you are feeling, if you felt a dip in your finances where it was like going up and then going down, it's coming back up. There's something this week, I just keep thinking that there's something that's going to be lifted. You probably could already be feeling that energy already. Six of Swords, you're moving away from the drama. Whatever has been feeling, making you feel unseen, uncertain. If somebody has been uncertain about you, pull your energy back. You are actually pulling your energy back because this is now. If not, I'm telling you to pull your energy back because something is better. Something better is coming for you. Moving into calmer waters. And there's two swans on the boat. So I, I feel like there's something new coming in for you. There's a new relationship, a new partnership, a new business opportunity, a new collaboration coming in. Because 22 broke down to four and it was the card was blessed. And that's about your, your home your foundation, your structure. Five of Cups. Be mindful not to go back on the past. Be mindful not to give too much of your energy to things that make you feel sad, that feel lost, that feel uncertain, or having regrets of leaving a situation. You're choosing yourself. And actually, the fact that she's she has the cups... And she's pouring this cup out. So she's doing this herself. She's like, I'm going to just end this myself and so I can move forward. The six and the five is something that I, the reason why I said that is because it's something that you're, you, you keep going back to and it's affecting your ability to move forward. It's affecting your, it's blocking, it's blocking you from moving forward. Back to the fork in the road. Choose the path that feels more playful. Knight of Cups. I told you I saw something new coming in for you. Someone new, a new connection coming in or this renewed sense of love with yourself. Knights are moving. They're moving. Justice, Emperor, King of Cups. Clarify this tower. What is this tower? What is this tower that has been blocking the money flow? The energy, the good energy. What is this? Because it was before the Nine of Pentacles. So not saying that's it could either be a block or something that's being torn down to rebuild. Clarify the tower. Spirit, clarify the tower. The sun. I knew it was good. 
This is also a Leo card. This is about your life force energy. The sun is all about consciousness. It's about that creative life force energy. So if you have been feeling like your creative life force energy has been depleted or on fucking pause, it's going to turn around. She has this ball in her hand and she's almost like bouncing it and playing it. I think... Again, this moving in a different direction and your energy is feeling alive again, attractive. Let someone else move in a direction that if someone is not choosing you or something is not working out, let them move in the direction that's for them. We're not doing the drama. No, because I, I honestly feel like this is not even your energy. This is energy that you are absorbing or that has been King of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, the sun to the King of Pentacles. So this is a level up in your foundation your money your career your home um this could also be a partnership this could also be someone coming into your energy that is very secure and very practical very stable five of swords mm, this is the sabotage card be mindful not to sabotage your opportunities be mindful not to sabotage your happiness. Clarify this Nine of Cups. Clarify this Five of Cups to the Nine of Cups, actually. Clarify the Five of Cups to the Nine of Cups. Like, how long does this read? deck ace of swords this is clarity this is truth page of swords i feel like there's a conversation coming in there's someone that's very curious about you um, and definitely has been keeping an eye on you um but you're focused on your cup you're focused on yourself and i think that's why this is this is coming in the Page of Swords could also be someone that's very curious and always asks why, why this and why that. So I think this could also be you moving your energy out and releasing, knowing that you need to release this burden and this regret and pouring love into yourself. Um, let's see what else comes out behind that. Oh, Seven of Swords. I don't, oh. I was going to say strategy, but my, and I have to go off of my reaction. Oh, <laughs> let me get this message together. Knight of Cups. I don't know if that's bad, though. I just feel like that's somebody trying to, like, strategize how to come in. Yeah, it's like a hidden mystery. This is also a Pisces card. Because we have the ace of swords this is like truth so maybe somebody wants to come in and tell you the truth that was lying to you that could be something for someone clarify this page of swords clarify this page of swords to seven of swords clarify this page of swords to seven of swords why did i tap into this it's making my my reading longer sorry y'all again if you're still here thank you hello please like and leave a comment that'll help my algorithm clarify this page of swords spirit clarify this page of swords this up five of swords this is the sabotage card be mindful of someone coming back around trying to love bomb that could be for some of you be mindful of that the five of swords is the sabotage card that's mind games the swords all about mental we have two birds here one black one white this is like a duality struggle um which is the sabotage I clarified the Knight of Swords or the Page of Swords, my bad. Um, the Emperor. This is definitely an energy. But it also could be, if this is about work, it could be you sabotaging your work. This love for your work because of this regret and loss and sadness that you feel. 
This could be a self-sabotage situation. The Seven of Swords could also be a, also could be like you running away from something because of the moon is next to it. So it could be two things. The Emperor is also like needing to have more structure, needing to make those right decisions. The Emperor makes the decisions that need to be made because they are always um, hard workers, disciplined, in control. But if the Five of Swords is next to the Emperor, this could also be about someone that's trying to control a situation. Ten of Wands. Oh my God, I cannot make this up. This is like, <laughs> please put this burden down. Whatever this is, if this has to do with your job or career, you know what you need to do. I feel like the message is pretty clear. Release these burdens that are this stress and these burdens. I just feel like this is a self-sabotage. Wow, I said Knight of Swords and Knight of Swords was at the bottom of the deck with the Six of Wands, with the Eight of Swords. What am I feeling? Eight of Six of Wands is uh, attention. Someone wanting your attention. Yeah, the chariot's there. Be mindful of that energy. Clarify this emperor. What is this emperor? The ten is also something that's ending or already has ended. Page of Pentacles. death this is a new this is like an opportunity to turn this circumstance around or somebody wanting to turn it around that sabotaged the connection the death card is about inner transformation but it's also about something ending to restart new the page of pentacles ace of wands this is attraction energy ignited passion this is like that download like i want to go in i want to restart we have six wands at the bottom of the deck somebody wanting your attention and they've been thinking about it for a while because the four swords is here and we have the two of cups so this is about a connection or a partnership or a friendship and definitely communication we have the magician Be mindful of the energy and be mindful of your energy to sabotage being in power following your dreams trust your trust your intuition and the knowing and as i said this is a time where our psychic powers are super super heightened and our creativity and you're really attractive choose decisions that make you feel happy that are going to be playful that are going to feel fun that is all I have for you, Collective. If you are feeling this energy or this read, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. I love you. Bye-bye.